Hey Naturalistas, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Hope and if you're new here or you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So in today's video, I will be going over what I consider to be the best natural hair products out there. They are kind of like my holy grail staple products that I've been using for years. And they're things that I consistently go back and get more of. I feel like I've tried so many products and I've finally whittled it down to products that I like literally can't live without. And I know these are products that my hair literally needs to survive and to kind of maintain its health and strength and vitality. <laughs> I wanted to create this video so that you guys know what kind of products I'm using in my hair, especially because I'm about to go on a growth journey very, very soon. If you hear about a product that sounds really interesting, just know that I put a link to all of the products I am talking about in my description box so make sure you check that out at the end of this video. Okay, so let's just kind of jump right in. I'm gonna start with my favorite products for washing my hair currently. And I recently fell in love with Carol's Daughter's Black Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I'm gonna tell you guys why I love this shampoo and conditioner. First of all, the shampoo is a moisturizing shampoo, and so it's not gonna leave your hair super dry or stripped of all of its oils or feeling like meh. It's actually gonna feel really luscious after you're done shampooing your hair, which I feel like is a huge plus. There are enough conditioners out there on the market that I feel like can definitely keep your hair moisturized as much as you probably need it to be moisturized, but there aren't as many shampoos that do the same thing. I can wholeheartedly say I've fallen in love with conditioners before, but this is my first time truly falling in love with a shampoo. And it's mostly just because of the way it leaves my hair feeling, like just really silky and moisturized. Even if you try the shampoo and it maybe doesn't make your hair feel as great as it makes my hair feel, try to search for a shampoo that makes your hair feel good and not feel stripped because that's only gonna help the health and vitality of your own hair. Now this conditioner is great because it does exactly what a conditioner should do. For me, I judge conditioners for how they feel when I put them in my hair. It should immediately give me slip and make my hair feel soft and make it easy to detangle, which this conditioner does do. And then even once I rinse it out, same thing. I definitely feel like my hair is super soft and conditioned and moisturized. And I look for that in any conditioner I use and I definitely get that out of this black vanilla conditioner. Now nine times out of 10, I am co-washing, which means that I'm not using a shampoo and I'm just washing my hair with conditioner. And that is good for a lot of reasons. And then occasionally I will shampoo. Now once in a blue moon, what I will do is clarify my hair. And the only shampoo I use to clarify my hair is Kinky Curly's Come Clean. I feel like it's a really, really wonderful clarifying shampoo because not only do you get the sense that your hair is completely clean, like, like it's been scrubbed clean, it manages to give you that super squeaky clean feeling without feeling like your hair is super dry or has been stripped of everything. It's like a, the perfect balance of like starting fresh, but also not feeling like you've depleted your hair of all of the moisture it could ever possibly need and want, which I think is fantastic. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this Kinky Curly Clarifying Shampoo for sure. So this next topic that I wanna go over are hair oils. Oils are so, so important and I cannot stress that enough because whenever you are wearing any hairstyle, you always, always, always want to seal your hair with the oil. It's gonna basically create a barrier and trap all of the moisture and goodness that you put in your hair so that your hair stays moisturized and protected. Now, over the years, I've played with a lot of different oils. One thing I am completely against is coconut oil. My hair hates coconut oil, um, and I never got on that coconut oil wave with my hair. I've tried to incorporate it in a lot of stuff, and I just realized it's not for me. One oil that I absolutely love, though, and have been using for years and years and years is extra virgin olive oil. Now, if you're using this, um, you definitely wanna find something that's cold pressed. I would suggest that with any oils, you always want it to be cold pressed, um, unprocessed, unrefined oils are perfect and you definitely want to try to get organic oils. But the one reason why I love extra virgin olive oil is because it's this like nice, thick, moisturizing oil that your hair fully absorbs and takes on all of that moisture and all the nutrients in it. And I think it's just fabulous for a number of reasons, whether you want to use it as a sealant or for like a deep conditioner or for hot oil treatments, it's literally the perfect oil. Now, another oil that I've fallen in love with over the years is sweet almond oil. 
One reason I tend to grab for this more than I grab for extra virgin olive oil now is because it's completely scentless. Extra virgin olive oil has a scent to it. Um, it's not like a super strong scent, but there is a scent there. With a sweet almond oil, there is no scent. It's kind of, um, it's not super thick, but it has a heavier consistency than like your jojoba oils or grapeseed oils. And it's like, it's beautifully moisturizing I my hair absolutely loves it my skin loves it too I've used it on my body like I love it as like a multi-purpose oil it's great for mixtures it's just great for so many things whereas I've been using extra virgin olive oil for years and years and years I've recently stumbled upon sweet almond oil as something that my hair really likes and it's probably like my number one hair oil at this moment in time. <laughs> Another oil must have is tea tree oil. The number one reason I would suggest having tea tree oil on hand at all times is because if you suffer from dandruff, whether it's like all year round or you know certain weather, like cold weather brings out your dandruff or you have a reaction to something and your scalp is really, really dry, Tea tree oil is a uh, antifungal oil and it is literally so perfect and so easy to use. You just mix it with a carrier oil. In my case, the carrier oil would be extra virgin olive oil or sweet almond oil. Just use your favorite oil, put in a couple drops of your tea tree oil, massage it into your scalp, let it sit for 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes and rinse it out. And doing this every day or every other day when you're having scalp issues will, will clear help to clear it up for sure. So this next topic is about moisture and hydration. One thing I cannot stress enough is that if your goal is to grow long healthy hair or just have healthy natural hair just in general, you're going to have to keep it moisturized and hydrated all of the time essentially. So first and foremost, the best way to moisturize your hair is to get water in it. But if you're feeling super bougie and you just want something that has added nutrients into it, definitely get rose water. I love rose water so much. I use it primarily on my skin like every day as part of my skin routine. But rose water is also a really, really great nutrient rich way to moisturize your um, hair. So even if it's just like a couple spritz at night before you lay down and seal it with a little bit of oil or in the morning to kind of like revive your hair, you just need a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. So I would definitely suggest rose water. Now I typically get my rose water in this glass bottle that you're seeing here and it's a darker bottle which helps to preserve all of the nutrients. But you can also get it in a plastic bottle. Um, it's just as good but I just prefer the glass bottle um, because as I said it just preserves the nutrients a little bit better than the plastic bottle does. There are three different ways I prefer to moisturize my hair. One way that I've been using for years is by using Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. It has been my go-to moisturizer uh, probably since 2012. Um, I've never had an issue with it. It's always served its purpose, it's always moisturized my hair, brought my hair back to life, or just consistently kept it healthy. Now, if you'd like to go the natural route, um, making whipped shea butters is great like it's beautiful and I make this a lot when I'm not being super lazy and I can make a new batch but all it takes is some African raw shea butter and I just mix it with whatever oils any essential oils I want to mix it with and it is a great alternative to using store-bought moisturizers and you can kind of craft it to address certain things like if you consistently have scalp issues you can add some tea tree oil to it um, or like rosemary oils or things like sweet almond oil or extra virgin olive oil. As I said, you can play with it however you want. It can be a really great and awesome moisturizer for your hair and it feels even better just because, you know, you made it. <laughs> Kinky Curly's Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. Guys, it's the only leave-in conditioner that I use and I absolutely love it. Whether I'm doing a wash and go or twist out, braid out, whatever it is or protective style, I tend to use this leave-in conditioner a lot. I think it's light, I think it's moisturizing, and it does its job as a leave-in conditioner. I personally haven't used anything else. I haven't branched out to try it to use anything else because for me, it works perfectly, and I love it. <laughs> now let's talk about definition. One of my favorite styles for my natural hair is a wash and go because it's so quick, simple, and easy, and my 
favorite <laughs> product for wash and goes is kinky curly's curling custard i have um videos with me using it so you could see what it looks like and how to use it but whether my hair is long or short i love it for defining my curls i think it is perfect <laughs> it's absolutely perfect now if you missed my huge announcement i actually created a flaxseed base hold gel with Volition Beauty and this is a picture of it right here if you have not voted for it make sure you vote for it via the link in my description box but I'm praying to God that it gets put into production so that you guys could eventually use this to define your own curls it is something that I created specifically to give you uh, the perfect balance of hold shine and moisture so definitely vote for it i'm trying to get it into production and once it's in production that you can definitely turn to this as something that you could use for definition if you're not a fan of gels i would definitely definitely suggest carol's daughter's styling pudding i have a video of me using this as well so you could see what it looks like but this is a gel free way to get those defined curls that you love so i would definitely suggest this product as well let's talk about natural products that you should just always have on hand one being Bragg's apple cider vinegar this is a must and there's so many uses that you can get out of this apple cider vinegar you can use it for hair rinses or to address things like dull hair to address things like dandruff or itchy scalp it is literally a multi-use product and it is something that you just you need it's a staple product just the way you always keep water and milk in your fridge keep apple cider vinegar in your house for your hair and even for your skin. If your hair is super brittle, it will help to soften the hair and it'll also help to create shine so you'll have healthier hair because it helps to seal your cuticles. So if it's kind of frayed out, it'll bring your cuticles in so it has this nice glossy shiny look. It just promotes the health of your hair. Another must have natural product is aloe vera gel and I use this particular brand right here. It's a great conditioner for smooth, shiny hair. It also helps to promote hair growth and it also reduces dandruff as well as strengthens your hair strands. So this is another great natural product to have on hand. Now another natural product that I swear by is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay. I use this for face masks but you can also use it for your hair. And what it will help to do is bring out the curls of your hair. I have a video of me using that. So if you'd like to see it, I will link that in my description box as well. But this is such a great product. If your curls are looking dull and just like generally unhappy, definitely use um, this clay mask to kind of revitalize and bring your curls back to life. Now, when it comes to hold, and I'm talking about like, you know, slicking down your edges or if you're putting your hair up in a bun, making sure it's slicked down and looking fresh. The only thing that I use is Eco Styler Gel. And I mostly use the Eco Styler Gel with olive oil in it, unless I'm out of it. There's also the clear one that I use, but the one in the green jar, the Eco Styler Gel in the green jar, yeah good stuff right there so make sure you grab that too <laughs> the next couple of things i'm going to list aren't products but there are things that you should definitely have to assist you in maintaining happy healthy natural hair so you want to make sure that you're sleeping on a satin pillowcase especially if you do not have your hair covered and that's because your traditional cotton pillowcases are very rough on your hair and your hair will get caught in the fibers and cause breakage and you don't want breakage right and so with a satin or silk pillowcase it's completely smooth and so it's basically making sure that your hair is not being damaged as you roll around as you sleep at night now the other thing you can do is buy a satin or silk hair scarf and that's to sleep in at night and once again, it provides the same protection that sleeping in a cotton scarf cannot or sleeping on a cotton pillowcase cannot. I personally do both. I wrap my hair in a satin scarf and I sleep on a satin pillowcase, but it's just good. Sometimes the scarf falls off, so then you have an added layer of protection. But definitely invest in a satin pillowcase and a satin scarf. 
Now let's talk about styling tools. Most of us have, you know, the fine tooth comb, the wide tooth comb, the hard bristle brush, the soft bristle brush. But one thing that I just recently learned about and I'm slowly in the process of converting all of my brushes and combs into are wooden brushes and combs. Using wooden brushes and combs as opposed to synthetic ones, and I'm talking about the plastic ones that we typically all have, is that it eliminates static and frizz. And with natural hair, that's like, that's something that you need. You need something that's gonna eliminate static and frizz and also reduce breakage. And that's something that wooden combs and brushes will do for you, unlike your synthetic combs and brushes. And also another really, really great thing about wooden combs and brushes that you will get from them only and not from plastic ones is that it will help to condition your hair by evenly distributing oils, even your natural oils from your scalp throughout all of your hair. And so when you're thinking about natural hair and specifically type four natural hair, which can be really, really difficult to moisturize, you want something that's going to help moisturize your hair and wooden brushes will do just that. And you can easily buy these wooden combs and brushes online. I've left links to a wide tooth uh, wooden comb, a fine tooth wooden comb with a rat tail on it, and also a wooden brush in my description box. So if you wanna see what they look like and purchase one, definitely use the links in my description box. And the very last styling tool that I wanna go over is a blow dryer with a comb attachment. Now, I know that if you're natural, you want to kind of stay away from heat, especially if you're on a growth journey or just trying to maintain healthy hair or you're trying to get away from possibly getting heat damage. It's important not to use blow dryers and straighteners like that. But in the event that you do, a blow dryer specifically with a comb attachment is going to make the process so much easier. Especially when you're combing out sections, like you don't have to use a comb and a blow dryer and it's just like unnecessary stress. You can just go right in and it typically will glide right on through. Yeah, so these are definitely my favorite products and styling tools that I like to use in my natural hair. And in the upcoming year, I will definitely be using these as my hair is growing out to maintain the health of my hair as well as the health of my scalp. And as I mentioned earlier, I've left the links to all of these products in my description box. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed and stay tuned for the next video. Bye. <laughs>